Amazon, why do you hate us so? I mean, I know people often make jokes about movie reviewers like myself having to suffer through bad content so that they don't have to, but weapon? Rings of Power Season 2 is one of the rare cases where I actually began to feel it. To put this into some kind of perspective, I once climbed the highest mountain in the UK on a boiling hot day with an absolutely stinking hangover every step of the way, and that experience was less of a slog than getting so through brave. three episodes of this show in time for over. Chat, let me ask you, let, let your voices be heard. When you see a character like this, th does this character inspire you? What, do you? what do you think about characters like this? That, like, kings just ain't a th It's just all queens, man. What do you guys think? I I'm kind of curious what you guys think. This will be in the clip, so you might want to have your uh, voice heard. She's just kind of there. This character is lame. No. Wood? Oh, guy, clip it. Ancient Nellop Wood. Dude, Ancient Nellop would be folding over some, like, 50-year-old used-up woman. I see a red flag and get away from it. Oh, shit. Stunning and brave? You're right. All right. ...than getting through three episodes Characters of like this that show seem so in time boring. for open bar. It was, to put it bluntly, one of the most miserable and depressingly tedious media experiences of my entire career that somehow found new and creative ways to defecate on Tolkien's legacy and prove once again that modern culture is an absolute yeah, like blight on jewelry. humanity. From the cringe-inducing dialogue straining for grandiose pomposity and peppered with so many <laughs> tortured metaphors that the writer should be arrested for crimes against literature, to the idiotic character choices and a ridiculously convoluted plot held together by so many conveniences and shortcuts that it makes J.J. Abrams look like Christopher Nolan to the overwrought performance. I, dude, I swear, like, the elves in this show, I, it's hard to put a finger on it, but it's like they're not elves. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like they're so insufferable. Their facial expressions, the way that they present themselves on screen, it does not feel like elves from lord of the rings they just they all seem insufferable emotional and cheesy like to the max they just don't feel like elves they don't have that look or feel of like prestige or of maturity or even of a, a slight superiority complex so to speak they elves kind of had that you know sticking their nose up in the air kind of shit going on but they didn't put it on full display like they weren't completely arrogant and insufferable bastards. In this show, they just feel so cheesy, over the top, and insufferable. She's by a cast of effeminate Gen Z pussies that ticks almost oh, every shit. diversity box except acting ability, to the ham-fisted direction and oversaturated Aragorn cinematography that's so dark, you literally can't see what the fuck is even going on half the time. It all adds up to a billion dollar slab of arse cancer that shames the legacy of Lord of the Rings like and a makes a complete dude. mockery a out of everything that Tolkien stood for. Put another way, The Rings of Power Season 2 fucking sucks. Now, I'm going <laughs> to do right. my best to summarize whatever passes for a plot here, but in the interests of my own sanity, I'm going to speedrun this shit, because the less time I have to spend talking about Rings of Power, the better. Anyway, oh, allow okay, me to give crown. you the meat and give like it to you raw. Like the walking. show gets off to the worst possible start by devoting a good 20 minutes to an extended flashback sequence explaining how Sauron got betrayed by his own lieutenant and eventually got reborn as Halbrand before running into Galadriel. Not a great plan. Why are you wasting all this time by telling us stuff that we already know? Do you guys even understand what storytelling is? Or is this whole thing just an amusing little side project? It's probably because it's the first time they heard the story, and so they're like, oh, I gotta tell it to everybody else as if it was new and original. Jake Fourier. Also, I love the idea that Sauron, a godlike being of unimaginable power and influence, commanding armies numbering in the hundreds of thousands by the sheer force of his will, is reduced to this dork in a shitty wig trying to argue with a couple of dozen orcs in a cave somewhere. <laughs> For a show that cost a billion dollars, Rings of Power somehow manages to make everything that should be grand and epic feel small and cheap. I mean, do you really think an entity as powerful as Sauron would need to argue his case to get orcs to follow him? Anyway, they decide that they don't like him anymore, so they stab him to death, but then his nice. blood turns into a flimpy black goo monster that eventually Prototype. climbs out of the mountain and rolls down the side like a turd until it gets stuck <laughs> wait, in the Wait, oh, wait, hold up! Wait, so he turns into- so he just becomes Alex Mercer, and then he slides down a mountain- dude, that looks so stupid. 
I'm pretty sure I seen this scene right here in Prototype. So he becomes Alex Mercer and slides down a mountain. Got the it. Flimpy black goo monster that eventually climbs out of the mountain and rolls down the side like a turd uh, until what? it gets stuck in the wheels of someone's wagon before it eats them. This is real. This hey, is that stuff which actually black. happens in this show. Honestly, I could probably spend an hour breaking down this opening scene alone because it perfectly encapsulates how the writers completely misunderstand almost every aspect of what Sauron is. But let's just keep moving for God's that looks sake. So, so this eventually is like we comedy, get back to the dude. present day where it's Sauron like allows himself to get captured in Mordor and brought before Adar, who for some reason doesn't recognize him or sense his power, and manages to convince the guy to release him by using the following gambits. Sauron is alive again, and I know you want him dead, even though I totally shouldn't know that because you betrayed Thank him you, hundreds Reaper. of years before I should have been born, but I'll don't take think a look. about that too much. Thank and you, I dude. don't actually know where he is or what he looks like now, but the important thing is that he's totally not me, and if you let me go, then I can go to the elves and maybe find out where he is and then report back to you so that you can march your not particularly strong armies halfway across Middle Earth to the- That's absurd. I, I really dislike shows and movies that do this. They have these massive gaps in logic just to move the plot line. And it's like they're presenting it to you like don't ask questions. Don't think about it. Just accept it. And it's such a mark of poor writing the most heavily defended stronghold in the entire world and possibly take him out. And I'll totally do all of that and not it's just so disappear and never come back. Trust me, bro. And the amazing thing is, it actually works. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, are you guys okay? So he teleports over to Celebrimbor and says that it's ringing time, buddy. And even though Celebrimbor has been specifically warned never to deal with him again, Sauron transforms into a fire demon angel thing and he's like, Don't worry, man, I've been sent from heaven to help you out. Trust me, bro. So Celebrimbor's like, Sure, okay, I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Elrond steals the is. three elven rings that have already been made and decides to destroy them because they might be influenced by Sauron, but fucking Doughboy here wants them anyway because he already wears more finger jewelry than your average gypsy taxi driver. So Elrond it's throws like himself jewelry, off a waterfall dude. and magically survives so that the rest of the plot can happen. But then they catch him anyway and use the rings to bring the elf trees back to life or something. Then there's Gandalf and the not hobbits who are wandering through the fucking desert looking for stars or the something. Hobbits. None of them seem to know or care why they're in this show anyway, and frankly, neither do I. But I did kind of laugh when we get introduced to this doofus played by Kieran Hines. Literally, this was your one chance to introduce a racially diverse character and have it actually make sense in-universe, and you chose possibly the whitest actor in the entire fucking industry to play him. Don't apply logic to this. <laughs> What is wrong with your brains? Like, do they just not operate like regular brains or what? Also, it's nice to see the real grin it's Eminem! Make a comeback because those guys totally weren't a laughing stock from the first season. What are these oh, faces, yeah, and dude. Isildur Zilder is alive again because, wow, it turns out that baiting the death of a major character that we know can't die yet wasn't the best way of sustaining dramatic tension. Neither was bringing back Don Lemon Lass, who was a pointless <laughs> exactly, character dude, in season Don Lemon. one and hasn't changed much here. It did make me laugh, though, when they had to explain away the death of Bronwyn, even though she was totally alive and well at the end of season one. Yeah, those orc arrows just take a while to kill you, I guess. Don't think of- Hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Dude, these costumes. These costumes are so bad looking. This, this looks like a low effort cosplay that you would see like some dude just walking around not not even at like a comic con but like at some trick or treat halloween shit like this just looks bad if you were to show me this screenshot i never would have been like oh that's lord of the rings it just looks dumb it looks silly she was totally alive and well at the end of even season this dude one. Over here. Yeah, those orc arrows just take a while to kill you i guess don't think about it too much there's also a t those don't even look like pelts Oh my gosh, that side view. These don't even look like animal skins put together. It, it, I'm, I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to look like. That looks so cheap. What did all them... This is supposed to be such a high-budget show. Dude, look at this. It doesn't... I don't know, this is ridiculous. 
There's also a tedious like storyline in Moria where the dwarves are running out of food, but they can't do anything about it until Durin and his father reconcile, but they won't because they're basically idiotic children now, I guess. And lastly, there's a growing power struggle in downtown Numenor where discount Karl Marx is trying to stage a coup against diverse female queen. Oh, and he's so shit. smart about it that he literally talks openly about overthrowing her in the middle of a crowded tavern. Truly, it's the last thing they'd be expecting. This kind of looks... <laughs> That's a good pause. This looks like some discount Jack Black wizard character. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> you okay, you know, Frodo? One of the big damn. Questions going into season two was: Would they have learned any lessons from the nuclear level backlash they took in season one? Do you think we should hire better writers, better directors, and better lore experts? Should we tone down the girl bosses and the weird no. Sauron Galadriel They'll romance angle and the forced diversity and the clumsy political allegories? Nah, it'll be fine. Exactly. Everything Just throw that money was bad at it. in season one is somehow even worse here. There's all the usual tropes like the girl bosses who fight and strategize right alongside the men as if that's normal procedure. The modern metropolitan diversity projected hilariously onto northern European medieval cultures that totally don't support it. But Exactly. Every single time. It's funny how they always talk about never appropriating someone else's culture. Yet they take anything that might have to be like uh, Europe during the Middle Ages or anything else like that. And then they just make it look like modern day California. It's like, come on, guys. Aren't you appropriating somebody else's culture? Oh, I forgot. You white people ain't got culture, right? That's what that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> but bizarrely Stupid. absent from the Middle Eastern cultures where it would actually just make stop. sense. The cheap looking sets and the actors who look like they're allergic to testosterone. But that's oh, just what shit. we expect from modern Hollywoods. The dialogue is so clumsy look and long-winded and pompous. So blatantly trying to replicate the epic tone of the books that it actually had me gritting my teeth. Even Ian McKellen couldn't make verbal diarrhea like this sound good. And no offense to the actors. Actors, but they ain't exactly on Ian McKellen's level. In no. fact, no, fuck it, all offense to them because they suck at their jobs. They've had like two years to up their game, and if anything, they come across as even worse than before. Characters range from idiotic to the point of actual medical retardation. To yeah, the, what you're gonna get is people who are not gonna take criticism because they're gonna automatically default it to just haters. So they're never, they don't make improvements. Because they feel that they're already like this completed sculpture. They're already perfect. And that if you criticize them, it's not because they need any help, but because you are just a dirty uh, baguette. To making such insane leaps of logical deduction that it can only ever be in service of so the they're plot. Never improve. Writing sophisticated characters like elves is always going to be a challenge because each of them has got thousands of years of wisdom and experience to convey. And well, exactly. You know, that's another big. That's a. a that's another great point on stuff like this. You've got. A, a character that could be, let's say, a thousand years old that's supposed to be very wise. But it's written by somebody who's probably like 28 years old and an insufferable bitch. So you could never expect these characters to truly show their maturity when they're written by a, a person that doesn't have it or doesn't understand what that maturity is. And, and so it's like, it's never going to come across on the screen. You're always going to get these insufferable bastards. This show is proof that a character is only ever as smart as their writer, and that ain't much. Then there's yeah. the morality question. Season one had only a tenuous understanding IQ of the morality of Tolkien's by world, and that IQ understanding seems to have completely vanished here. The show seems to want us to empathize with the orcs for some reason, like there's some misunderstood oppressed minority or something. There's literally a scene where an orc begs his commander not to send him off to war before hovering protectively over his ah, yeah. wife and baby. That is horrific. You still would though, wouldn't you? <laughs> You don't know, I mean, do you not understand that orcs are not individuals in the sense that humans are? They're a force of nature. They're a blunt instrument to be wielded they by are evil. Totally corrupted, they don't man. care if they charge into battle and get slaughtered by the hundreds. They exist only for war. In the two towers, they get spawned. I don't. I don't know if they were that twisted. Like they would just charge into war and just not care if they themselves were killed. I think they're greedy and slick enough to rather let it happen to somebody else. We don't want to go to war today, but the Lord of the Lash says, Nay, 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 we're gonna march all day, all day, all day. Where there's a whip, there's a way. So it's like, obviously the orcs are not like, I don't, like, they're not like Warhammer 40k orcs. Let's get to fighting, you know, jumping in the battle, not giving a shit. But... 
they were still dirty scoundrels that they could be forced to do the Dark Lord's will. ...into existence, have a helmet slapped onto their head and a sword thrust into their hand, and their first question is... But, but this idea of them having, oh, my children, my family, no. No, get that shit out of here. This idea, it's gonna be okay, dear. Stop. Just stop. Let me, let me guess. The orcs were just misunderstood the whole time, right? They were really the good guys. Literally, what do you want me to kill and destroy? They don't have private lives and you can't make me empathize with them. They are monsters. At this point, Tolkien must be spinning in his grave so fast that you could hook him up to a dynamo and power the entire national grid with him. Yeah, this you probably could. This quite simply an abomination. A ruined, corrupted form of entertainment, twisted and mutilated, lost beyond all hope of redemption. And if Amazon had any common sense whatsoever, they would cast it into the fire, destroy it before it consumes us all. Anyway, that's all I've got for today, thank fuck. Go away now! My, yeah, dude, this is the perfect image to pause it on. That's probably your face watching the whole season, too. Ah! It is disgusting what they're doing. I always hate the idea of these people trying to tell you that they know how to do it better than the original authors. Like, especially when you talk about the life experiences and then how much time and effort that Tolkien put into this work. Then you have some some cocky bastard who's probably like 28, maybe 30, probably has like that trendy beard with those glasses and a, and a whole row of Funko Pops behind him sitting down going, Tolkien didn't know what he was talking about. You know, let, let me tell him about, you know, real marginalized groups and, you know, appropriating somebody's culture. And blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut up. Shut up. You have you have no real experience outside of your Californian bubble. You don't know what the hell's going on out there. That's why they keep making shows like this, because they, they, it shows how detached from reality they truly are. It's stupid. 